All right, welcome to math. So let's talk about the number line. How did you use the number line in kindergarten? Can you guys tell me how you used it in kindergarten? Simon? Okay, so you guessed a number that was below 10? Oh, God bless you. Okay, perfect. Anybody else use a number line in kindergarten that they can remember? Yes, Amber. Use it to help you with math. Good. Can you tell me more? Like, what did it help you do? Okay, could help you to figure out which way to write hard numbers. Excellent. Good. Anything else? Anyone else? Number line help you in any way in kindergarten? Today, uh, we will use a class number line to count. So we have a number line on the wall over there above the windows. Usually, a number line is one straight line, and it continues on and on and on and on and on, right? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't really stop. So I have a number line behind us. So again, 0 to 20, this line would actually go up here, and it would continue on and on and on and on and on, okay? I also posted a number grid so you can see the difference. See the difference between a number line and a number grid? What do you see that's different between the number line and the number grid? Simon? When the number grid has rows down. Okay, the number grid has rows down. Jacob? What do you notice about the number line or the number grid? The number line has lines that the numbers are on and the number grid just has squares that the numbers are Exactly. Yep. So the number line has the numbers underneath it. The number grid has little boxes that have numbers in it, right? Same thing. I mean, they're the same thing other than that. They both have numbers. They're both in order. The numbers are in order, right? So they both will help you with counting, with adding, with subtracting, with writing numbers correctly. They're both, um, what do you call that? Manipulatives that you can use to help you in math. Okay. All right, so today we're going to use a class number line to count and to find a mystery number. But before we do that, we're going to warm up um, by counting by ones to 20. So I'm going to point on the number line, and we're going to count starting at 0 to 20. Are you ready to do that? Yeah. All right, so Mrs. Whitney, I'm going to have you. Yep, there we go. All right, so as I point, you count. And my friends at home, you're going to count with us. So here we go. So we got 0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Beautiful. And it's very important to stay when we're counting as a class, it's very important to stay with me when we count, right? If, if I'm pointing at 12 and you're saying 15, do you think that's right? No. So staying with me as we count is beautiful. It makes it makes it, everything make sense. So let's try it one more time. Are you ready to try it one more time? Can you guys do a little bit louder for our friends at home? Okay. Okay, because they're supposed to be counting with us, right? But they also want to hear you, and I'm sure they want to hear you and not me. So here we go. Ready? One. Oh, let's start at zero. 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 One. One. Beautiful. That was amazing. Now we're going to count by tens. So this is something we talked about last week. I was going to say yesterday, but last week, counting by tens. So I'm going to try to use this board. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Move this over here. All right. I'm going to try this. All right. So we're going to count by 10 starting at zero. So does anybody know how we count by 10 starting at zero? If I say zero, what's next, Simon? Yeah. 10. So let's do that. Ready? And we're going to count, let's see, by 10s. 
It doesn't really tell us what number to stop at. So let's count to 50. Okay? Does that make sense? So watch me. Here we go. I want you to do it with me though. Ready? Zero. Ten. Twenty. Now we're going to go down here. So here's the see, It starts over. Normal number lines aren't going to start over. Right? So 20 to 30. 30 to 40. Perfect. So here's 40 again. 40 to 50. See how I did that? How many do you think are in between? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in between, right? You're counting by tens because you're never going to count the one you're, you're starting on. You're always going to count the next one. So even up here, ready? From here to here, how many is that? Ten. Beautiful. All right, now let's see if we can count by fives. But this time, Mrs. Whitney and I are going to show you something first. Everybody hold up one hand. Okay, so Mrs. Whitney's going to hold up one hand. We're going to start, and then we want you guys to continue. So my friends at home, we're going to start, and then I'm going to go to my friends around the classroom. So you won't be seeing us, but hopefully you'll be able to hear us. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Mrs. Whitney, you want to start? So we're going to whisper our four fingers, and we're going to say our fifth finger. So watch how we do this. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See how I did that? I'm going to go to Simon. Simon, ready? Whisper for me. Fifteen. Jacob, your turn. Ready? Whisper. That twenty. Beautiful. Ready? Wow, they can hear you. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Here we go. Ready? Where's your hands? Whisper. Thirty. Ready? Here we go. Everybody's quiet so you can hear us whispering. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Owen, oh, can I borrow your hand? Ready? That's okay. Just so our friends at home can hear us better. So we're going to whisper the first four, and we're going to say every five loud. So I'll circle the ones we're going to say out loud. Does that make sense? Yes? All right, here we go. Whisper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you guys are whispering, too. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15
Nice. See how we did that? So that time every fifth number gets gets um every fifth number is counting by fives. So when we counted by tens, every tenth number was counted. When you count by fives, every fifth number is counted. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes? Okay, so that'll help you remember. So if if you're ever if you ever need to count by fives, you're like, oh no, this is so tricky. Or when you're home and you want to practice counting by fives, you can use your hands. Whisper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You see how I did that? And then you can practice. Then you can start going five, ten, fifteen, twenty, <laughs> twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. 40, 45, 50, right? So practice makes perfect. So that's how we count by fives. Um, so now we're going to do a game called Monster Squeeze. So my friends at home, you yesterday took home a baggie that had, thank you, that had a number line to 20 and two monsters, okay? So the two monsters you can take and you can color them. You can cut them apart and color them. And you're going to use these monsters on your number line. So let me explain the monster game first. So we're going to play it a little differently in here because you guys are going to stay at your seats. We have to use a number line up in front of the board. But I'll give you one of these to take home to play with your parents or your brothers or sisters or whatever, whoever will play with you at home, okay? All right, so yes, Jacob. I did that in kindergarten. Did you guys do this in kindergarten? Uh -huh. We're going to do it. I, did you do all the way to 20, though? I feel like you probably only did it to 10. Did you do it to 10? So this year, we're going to do it to 20. Okay, so we're going to practice a few more numbers. Simon. That's okay. Mom and Dad will play with you. I'm sure they will. Right? Or maybe someone at CNS, if you're at CNS tomorrow. Sure. Yes? Go ahead. Oh, really? Okay, so he, at my friends at home, you'll have a number line and two monsters. You can color the monsters if you want, and you need to cut them apart so they're separated. Okay, so what we do, someone in this class is going to write a number down on a post-it note. Right? It's going to be top secret. We're going to guess your number. So Mrs. Whitney and I are going to stand at the board because we can't have the interaction here. But we're going to stand at the board, and I'm going to blow this number line up a little bit more. And the other kids in the class, so if we had Azure write a number down, the rest of us are going to guess what her number is. Okay? So I'm going to do it first. This is Whitney. I'm going to write a number on here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, wrong computer. Hold on. i got to make this number line bigger. Okay, so we're going to use this top part right here. I wonder if I can. Oh, that's going to shrink it. So we're only going to use this one right up here, my friends, in here. Oops, let's move this. This one right here, okay? That's what we're using. All right, Mrs. Whitney, I wrote my number down. Okay. Actually, I can show you because you won't show them. Got it. Okay, hold on. So now we need my monsters Okay, I thought they were right there. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll use these two. Hmm. All right, we're going to use these two monsters because my, my other big monsters are missing, but that's okay. Not a big deal. We'll figure it out. So, Mrs. Whitney, you're going to have one of these monsters. Now have the other monster. So I wrote my number on the post-it note, and I want you guys to guess what my number is. Okay, Mrs. Whitney and I are going to our monsters are off the board right now. So any number from 0 to 20. Jacob, you want to pick the first number? Just pick a number. I didn't hear you. Uh, I am ready. I know, pick a number from 0 to 20. Pick any number you want. Seven. 
What do you think, Jacob? Pick a number. Ten. Okay, ten. My number is less than ten. So Mrs. Whitney is going to cover up ten. Okay, don't trip. All right, so she's going to cover up ten. So now I need somebody else to pick a number. Xavier, how about you pick a number? Any number between 11 and 20. What number do you want to pick? 12. My number is, did I say less than 10? Yeah. I, have to, I have to rephrase that. My number is more than 10. See, Mrs. Brooks even makes mistakes. So wait, can we go back for a second? We were, at, we were there. Jacob asked if my number was 10, and I should have said my number is greater than 10. So Mrs. Whitney comes and covers up 10. And then Xavier said 12, and I said my number is greater than 12. So now she's going to cover up 12. How about Christian? Uh, 20. 20. My number is less than 20, so I'm going to cover up 20. Harper. 16. My number is greater than 16. So she's going to cover up 16 now. Owen. 18. My number is less than 18. So I'm going to cover up 18. Ember. I mean, yeah, I did say it right. Ember. 17. My number is 17. So you see how I did that? See how I know my number? So then the person that set, picks the number gets to say whether the number is greater than or less than the other pick. Does that make sense? Should we play one more time? Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have time to play one more time. We'll let Mrs. Whitney pick the number, and then we've got to get ready for bus safety. So, Mrs. Whitney, go ahead. And I'm going to erase the board and try to put the pen away. All right. Okay, got it. So you guys are going to pick. we got to do it quick, though. Um, Kanan, pick a number between 0 and 20. 20. My number My is... My number is less than 20. Okay, so I'm going to cover up 20. Simon. 10. My number is less than 10. Whoop. Uh, who didn't we... Azure. Zero to nine. Give me a number. Quick, quick. Pick any of those numbers. It's okay. Pick a number. Zero to nine. What number do you want to pick? Say it a little bit louder. Seven, Mrs. Whitney. My number is greater than seven. So now she's going to cover up seven. Uh, did I call on everybody that between last time and this time? Chris uh, Harper, did I call on you? Woo! Our thing is dancing. Go ahead, Harper. Nine. Did she pick your number? She did pick she my number. She picked the number. Good so job. her number it was nine. Okay. Make sense? Do you, my friends at home, do you understand how to play the game? Yeah. All right. So have fun playing Monster Squeeze is what it's called. So we're going to let you guys go at home. So you're just going to watch my video, play Monster Squeeze, and have a good time. Have a great day.